Hi, I'm Ben from Solar Reviews, and let's talk solar. Specifically, let's talk about how to evaluate a solar quote and see if it's a good deal for you. What we're going to look at today is a real quote from Minnesota in 2020. A fan member of mine got this quote from a solar company they ended up choosing for their home. Um, so what you're looking at right now is the cover page of the proposal. I've deleted all the uh, personally identifiable information and the installer name so we can just judge the quote on its merits. We will look at how to evaluate the numbers inside and determine if they're accurate and see whether this is a good uh, quote. Um, as you go to the very first page after the cover, you see a very salesy type of page showing you the cost of doing nothing, what you might you might spend over the next 25 years if you keep paying the utility company for power. Uh, $61,000. So the idea is, why not go solar for a bunch less than that and end up you know, saving all that money over the long term? Well, one of the important numbers to look at here is this uh, part where it says your utility bill is likely to go up as much as 3.99% every year. Uh, that's not exactly accurate in this case, and I'll show you how I determined that a little in a little bit. Um, and it does have, affect the outcome. The second page shows you the proposed solar system, and this is a very important page. It's got a, a drawing of the panel layouts, very important to have. The proposed system size, 8 kilowatts. The generation of 9,250 kilowatt hours per year. Um, based on the annual usage, my family, family member's annual usage of 11,221 kilowatt hours. Um, they're proposing 25 320 watt Trina solar panels with uh, end phase energy microinverters, and they say that's going to offset the bill, the utility bills, by about 82% over the course of the year. That's an important number because um, the local utility, Dakota Electric, has an incentive that is uh, limited to 8 kilowatt system size. So the system size is specifically chosen by the installer to provide the best financial return, um, even though it doesn't quite offset the entire amount of the bill over the course of the year. As you can see there are some panels on the south-facing roof faces and some, some on the west-facing roof faces. Um, in Minnesota, the west-facing roof faces aren't going to get nearly as much sun, but they will get a significant amount, um, especially since this house is kind of up on a hill. There aren't a lot of obstructions over here in shade. As you can see, there is a tree here in the front yard that does uh, cast some shade over this roof face. And so when the installer suggested my family member get this tree trimmed back so that they would not have any shade on their panels, it's, it's pretty important. Um, one thing they could have done here is they could have proposed much more high wattage panels and try to stuff more of them on these south facing roof faces. But the uh, cost to benefit there isn't exactly perfect. Um, the Trina panels provide a really great value, and so putting some on the west-facing roof it still gets enough sun that it produces enough electricity th throughout the course of the year. Um, this graph right here kind of shows this gray, this gray part shows what they pay their utility company currently, and the yellow bars are what the solar might generate. As you can see, in the wintertime, the generation is quite a bit lower than the utility bill, but in the summertime, it actually exceeds that usage in some places. Um, and through net metering, they'll be able to sell that power back, and... Um, kind of offset as, as much as 82% of their bill throughout the year. The next page is another kind of salesy page that shows how you're, uh, if you're an environmentally minded person, you might be interested in knowing exactly the kind of offset you're providing by reducing your usage of the grid that, you know, draws power from coal and natural gas. And um, in this case, they're suggesting that uh, you could, uh, buying the solar panels would reduce as much CO2 as, as uh, eliminating 400,000 miles in a car which is, is pretty huge. Um, the final or the third, the fourth page here shows your cost breakdown. Um, you've got this $61,400 cost of doing nothing from the first page there. Your new bill is the total cost of electricity uh, bills after the solar savings over 25 years. The cost of solar is the cost of the system minus the incentives that you're going to get for it. And the savings are this, um, this blue bar here. Basically, they're suggesting... If you spend $27,520 on solar today, you'll get $11,000 and change in incentives, and your net cost is that $16,000, and then over that 25 years, you'll generate this much in savings, and that's they, they estimate that's you know pretty great savings for you. Um, the This is a very important page that kind of shows all the assumptions that went into getting to those numbers, and um, we'll show you how to adjust these later to see what the savings might be if things aren't quite as they assume. Um, again, that's Dakota Electric Association. They're on a residential rate schedule. Um, their current bill is about $120 a month. Average usage is about 935 kilowatt hours um, a month with 11000 a year. 
And then they they estimate again that that utility rate increase would be about 3.99% per year for 25 years. Now, I want to tell you, I looked up Dakota Electric's utility rate increase over the last 20 years, and it's about 1.3%. So 3.99% is quite a bit higher than that. It's, you know, three times as much as that. Um, and there is some reason to believe that utility rate increases will continue, will go up as uh, climate change effects take hold and as uh, cost of maintaining the grid gets more expensive. But 3.99%, I think, is awfully high. The national average rate over the past 25 years is about 2%, um, 28 if you send it out to about 60 years. So, you know, 3% is a pretty good estimate, but we'll, we'll look at 1.3% to see how that might change things. Um, again, they include the number and the model number of panels. This is very important. you got to get this in writing, the model number. The number and the model number of the microinverters, system size, and this annual production degradation that assumes the production will decrease by just a small fraction of a percent each year as you uh, go on. And so the solar panels in 25 years will be putting out a little bit less energy over the total, total course of the year than they do now. Um, there's this incentive section that shows the uh, federal tax credit of $7,155. That's 26% of the system cost. Uh, you can read about that on solarreviews.com. Uh, we have an article all about the tax credit and how it works and how you can claim it. Um, and again, this special uh, incentive is uh, technically a rebate, but it's paid out over the course of several years. It's $0.08 cents per kilowatt hour generated that you get back on your power bills as an incentive to you. Um, and up to $4,000 is the maximum and up to 8 kilowatts again. If you have a, a system size that's larger than 8 kilowatts, they'll divide your total output by the the um, ratio of you know 8 to whatever system size you have to determine your incentive that year. Um, and that's it. So now, how do we determine whether this is a good deal? Um, we can look at this and say, "Oh, thirty-one thousand eight hundred fifty-four dollars. That sounds like a huge amount of savings. Is that, you know, is that a good, is it a good deal to me? Should I try to look for a lower cost? Is it going to return as much as it would if I said put that twenty-seven thousand dollars into a stock fund?" So the way to do that is to uh, use our solar calculator on SolarReviews.com. You um, go to the homepage here, click on Solar Calculator. It'll open up this nice window here. You put in your zip code, 55044 in this case. Your monthly bill, $120 about. That roof direction, again, we had solar panels on south and west facing roofs, so we'll just average it out to southwest. Uh, there's Dakota Electric, and that estimated about an 80% offset. Roof pitch, if you know it, you can change it, but this is a pretty standard one. So we'll just click Calculate. Um, this calculator is based on rate structures from genability. It's based on uh, solar production numbers from PV watts. It's based on our own database of system recent system prices in your area and uh, incentives that are available to you. Um, it shows here you might need about 22 solar panels. Uh, in this case, those are 370 watt solar panels. So that's a few less than were recommended by the installer. Um, a system size of 8.14 kilowatts. That's about eight. Uh, they don't quite account for that perfect eight kilowatts like the installer did. Um, and then we have this net savings. This is assuming that you get a loan uh, through the installer, but uh, we're going to look at a cash payment here. So we'll click on financing, click cash. Um, that cost, again, is estimated by from our database of local solar prices. But if you want to look at their cost, they said um, 344 watt. We can do 345 here. Savings, again, they said 3.99% per year increase. Now, if you want to adjust this uh, discount rate, that's if you want to look at the net present value of this as an investment. Uh, say you you know you can get a current a rate of 8% by buying a stock index fund and then letting it sit for 25 years. Um, or maybe you know you can get a 5% rate if you have a, a special savings account someplace or a money market account or something. Uh, but we always use 8%. And again, that production assumes a little bit of shade per year. So let's take a look. Um, that system now says it pays itself back in 11 years, three months. The net savings of $31,055. It shows that uh, tax credit and the uh, Dakota Electric rebate. Let's go back and look at the quote again. As you can see, that that's $31,854 here, and our estimate from our calculator was $31,055, so just about exactly right on the money. Um, if the assumptions the installer put into their uh, calculators that hold true, you can expect to save about that 31,000. Now, 
We did mention that the electricity rate has increased uh, lower than 3.99% per year over the past 20 years in Dakota Electric. So let's let's adjust that down to that 1.3 and see what that does. Yep. And that extends the payback out by about a year and nine months, and it reduces the savings by quite a bit. Um, you can look at these advanced metrics down here if you wanted to see that net present value. And it shows here that the investment return for this solar uh, array is 6.5%. So that's a like a 6.5% annual return, basically. Which means that if you could if you could invest your money and get 8% over 25 years, this is actually a worse investment than that. But I will add that um, solar panels are generally a very reliable investment because you know that they're going to be up on your roof working for 25 years. Um, both the in-phase microinverters and the Trina panels come with a 25-year warranty. Uh, for power output, and so you can be pretty sure that that's going to be an investment that returns that, you know, 6.5% in this case. But what you might want to do is say, hey, solar installer, it looks like, um, for me, this wouldn't necessarily be the right financial choice, so if you could adjust your prices just a little bit, let's uh, let's see what that would do. So let's say, let's say we reduce it to $3 a watt. Then it shows a positive uh, NPV and an IRR of 8.4%, so that actually exceeds that 8% discount rate that we're looking at um, a potential in the stock market investment. Um, you know, if you get up to around 310 or 315, it's just around that 8% exactly. Um, if the installer can come down that, that about that 10% uh, on their upfront prices, then you could be sure that this is a better financial investment for you and feel more secure in making that investment. Um, one thing this doesn't account for is the fact that uh, solar panels increase home value. Um, the increase in home value is a little bit nebulous because it's the, there's been studies done in several states, but not all across the country, and no two homes are exactly the same. But uh, in general, solar panels increase the value of the home they're installed on by uh, about 70% of the total cost to install them. So it's actually about the same as the uh, net cost after all the incentives and the tax credits. And so that goes down, of course, as the panels age. But if you install a brand new solar panel system, you can expect about 70% of that cost to add that value to your home if you go to sell it. Um, so that's, uh, the solar calculator at solarreviews.com. You can actually go down here, take a look at the annual, uh, generation, which kind of matches that, that, uh, graph in the calculation here. You can see this is the use, this gray is the usage and the yellow bars in this case are the solar production in our calculator. The gray is the, uh, usage and the blue is the solar production. It matches almost exactly what we saw from the installer. So you can be sure the installer has, has done a good job of estimating, exactly you know how much energy these panels are going to produce and how much that might save you um, you can go and explore battery backups to see whether you'd like to add a battery to your system and then if you actually haven't gotten quotes yet or you want to get quotes to compete with the one you're looking at today you click on this continuously prices button you can go to uh, a form that to add some of your information and get contacted by local installers near you who uh, can offer you new quotes and of course then come back to the calculator put in those numbers to see whether they are better or worse than the numbers that are pitched by the first installer. Um, so what my, my family member did in this case is they went back to the installer. They said, Hey, I, I like what you in included in your quote. I appreciate that you, you know, estimated the um, production correctly. You're using good equipment. And I like, you know, that you're a local company that has a really good rating on solarreviews.com, but could you come down on your price just a little bit so that we can hit that financial number that I'm going for? And they worked it out, and uh, the panels were installed later that year, and they've been producing energy for a little over a year at this point, and they're doing great. And what's more is the, uh, the uh, you know, it's a local installer, it's a small company that have been around for several years, but they have a good relationship now. They actually sent my family member a, a swag bag for Christmas, and the kids are, you know, wearing the t-shirts and that kind of stuff. So it's a pretty good, pretty good way to do business. Um, now, one thing you might be saying is, hey, how can I be sure these numbers in the Solar Reviews Calculator are correct? Um, we can look at that together right now by going to this fancy little spreadsheet that I built. Um, you can estimate, you can show that estimated production from our calculator, 9,515 9, kilowatt hours per year. The degradation of the panels, 0.54% per year. Utility, current utility cost is 13.1 cents. That cost increased at 3.99%, which is what the, the installer said. Um, system size 8, solar is $3.44 uh, a watt. With a total system cost of 27520 you get this tax credit. And so now you extend that over 25 years. You start with the year one production, 9515 Reduce that by that 0.54% each year. 
for 25 years. And by the end, you're generating about 85% of what you did in the first year. But utility rate increases by much larger than that. So you start with that 13.1 cents that you're paying right now. And by the 25 years uh, in, in 2045, you're paying over double. That's if there's that 3.99% increase. Um, you start out by saving by about $100 per month. There's an incentive payment to you of $0.08 cents a kilowatt hour on top of that savings for that incentive up to $4,000. So this, if you looked at this, this adds up to $4,000 exactly. Um, start out with the annual savings. You take the system cost, you subtract the tax credit, you subtract the savings, you subtract the incentives, and this is your total net cost after the first year. Um, and then each year after that, you just extend the savings and incentives out to include it on this line. And then Excel does this great IRR calculation that shows about a 9.5% IRR with this proposed 3.99% um, in rate of increase. And then that NPV is about $2,200. Uh, our calculator showed uh, with the 3.345 a watt, and the 3.99% rate of inflation, our calculator showed $2,000 NPV and a 9.2% IRR. So just about exactly the same um, negligible difference, a couple hundred dollars. Now we can adjust this and look at the 1.3% again. And then you got that same, that in, the IRR goes down, the NPV becomes negative, same as with this, if you assume that same price per watt with a 1.3% inflation, negative $2,000 and a 6.5% IRR. Um, that's why we said, hey, why not reduce the cost down to about three, 310 a watt to get us to even on, NP, on, on NPV. So it's an investment that is the same as an investment in the stock market over 25 years. Um, you can do this calculation yourself in Excel if you don't trust our calculator, but I like to say I like to think that uh, our calculator is really excellent and it uh, it automatically accounts for things like rate structures and solar production. You can estimate shading differences, which I didn't do in my spreadsheet, and all kinds of other things. If you're interested in looking at whether you can get a solar loan, you can you can change the the numbers there, adjust your interest rate and term length and down payment to uh, show what you're getting offered by a solar installer. Many solar installers these days offer loans, and you can see whether their loans are good by putting that in here too and, and looking at this NPV number. Uh, in this case, it looks like the loan might be a, a somewhat better deal as far as NPV goes because in this case, you're not putting any money down. You're not spending that $27,000 up front. Instead, you are spending money over time as you're saving money and getting that incentive payment back. And so the net present value is actually better for you because you keep more of your money now than you would give up if you paid cash. Um, and that's another thing you can do with this calculator to determine whether the solar is a good deal for you. So I hope that hopefully that's been helpful. If you have any questions about uh, your own solar quotes, be sure to put them in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe to this video so we can make more like it. And reach out to us at solarreviews.com if you're ready to get solar quotes for your own home. Thanks, and have a sunny day.